Hi, you guys. It's Marissa. Oh, hold on. Let me put this over. I'm on my old little homemade tripod because I'm getting the other one modified so I can whoa, do it better or use it better. Anyways, I wanted to just do a quick, quick online haul mainly because it was a store that I had recently found and I wanted to pass on the store name. Hmm. I don't know where my form is. I was going to wait until I got a mixed media stamp from Paperback Studios. Paperback? Paperback Studios. But um, I believe Robin Marie Smith. They're not cheap stamps. Um, but it's a really fun doodly looking one. But it's been delayed for a while so I don't know where it is. So I thought, meh, I'm sure you guys have seen them. But anyways, this is just a um, few, a couple of things that I got online, Etsy, and I think that's it. Um, the first thing I wanted to show you, I received, or not I received, I bought another journal from the Rebookery, and this is a larger one. She just put out, I believe, 24 of them. Um, so I just wanted to show you it always comes wrapped I think this is my third journal from her yeah so it came wrapped in this cute little trim that you could definitely reuse loved that this was included because this was my era of strawberry shortcake not strawberry shortcake now and I like when Mila liked her and got the dolls I was like uh, that does not look like what I used to have so she just gave this little postcard which I thought was cute in there um, little fabric scraps and throughout the album she had said um, in her last few journals she always includes a lot of extras and so in this one she put a whole bunch of wallpaper samples so they were kind of spread throughout pockets and everything like that in the book so I thought that was fun and here it is she used fabric on all of the covers and I believe some vintage sheets and some quilts and I think this was a vintage sheet and what I wanted of course went really really quick but um, they're I don't want to say flimsy but I mean they're made well but it's very thin I, I didn't remember if these were calendars or big poster boards vintage poster board kind of advertisement but that's what it's put together with and oh it opens up this way so just like her all of her albums that I absolutely adore and really want I tried kind of making one in an old book and I, I'm just still want to add more stuff to I I love the style this eclectic style is just that's how I scrapbooked years ago. And anyway, so I, I would really like to be able to make my own, but there's just something about receiving something that an, another artist um, did and just knowing that they thought about where they were putting everything. So it's it's like most of her journals with the little, um, the stitching, the um, fabric. This one she actually added, I like when she just thinks outside the box. And um, these are just like photo sleeves. And how many of these books do we have? And I would have never thought to do something like that. So it's some newer papers, I believe, some vintage, just really fun. I and mean, I'm glad this is the biggest one I'm, I have. Right now I'm working in, sorry, my big arm. Right now I'm working in this smaller one. Um, I've done a few pages in here. I was hoping to do some process, um, Hoping to do some process videos of some of these. Here's one of Damien. So, you know, we'll we'll see. I think I did about four or five pages in here, but this is the size I'm working in right now, and it, it is kind of hard for me to do smaller. So, I'm excited. Hopefully, I could make some videos of me doing this. So, I received that from Gina, and that is just awesome. And oh, let's see, James. Luke Burke Creative or JLB put out another release. I think I showed you that I bought his this last time I bought his book here with all of these illustrations in it. Um, so this time I went ahead and this was backward I believe. This is just I have two other washies but this is the wider black and white washi and then this is like the swatch dolls. He did a series on these. So cute. So I got this one right here. I mean, because you can just cut them and use these all over the place. And it 
it would last a long time unless you do like some big long line of washi dolls and then I also got this was out last time these are the swatch doll fab um, fabric fragments and they're just his die cuts and I believe it's two of each but um, one's bigger and one's smaller there's a newer one out I think that has more mermaid but I really wanted um, this one and I actually use one of these in where is it of course it's ah oh, it's all the way over there in my in my journal that I was wait let's see if I can find it hold on where is it hold on sorry is this it <laughs> hold on um blah. okay yeah <laughs> oh oh here it is so I used one right there I think I showed a few pages of these that I did. So I got that from his shop. Oops, and there goes that. And then there is a new shop called Rusty Crown. I will put a link, amazing prices. Um, and I decided to get a few things. And I got this penny black. I think this was like, two, no, $4. Just, just a face, because you know, I can't draw them, so. I got this, it's a pretty good size. And then she, there was a lot of these. This is from Lost Coast Designs, um, but this is a good size too. And I thought I could just cut off this and use this or just use this. I wasn't really big on these right here, but again, I could always cut it out. You could stamp a face, you could put a face from a magazine, you could, I mean, there's so many different things you could do. And then this is the other thing from the local scrapbook store I got the the other three mini stencils I showed in a few hauls back. So th this was the other one that I wanted. So I just went ahead and got it because I'm telling you, her prices are really, really good. And she's in California, so I got it really quick. And then I have been waiting for this to come in stock somewhere, this Distress Resist Spray. And I've seen so many videos and so many cool techniques with this. So I can't wait to try to try this and then as a freebie I thought it was really nice she sent these little gumdrop Tim Holtz hearts so I'll put a link down again I the pricing was amazing the shipping was amazing uh, as it, oops sorry I just got a TV in my craft room you guys and it's horrible like I never leave here now but it seems like I craft more is that weird like I don't know why I, I'm I'm working more <laughs> And then there is a YouTuber, I think she also has a shop, um, Cal Scra Cali Scrapper, Cali Crafts. I, um, she has D-stashes on YouTube as well. Um, I'll link her channel. But she was selling, she had a store, and so she sold this for $24 shipped, I believe, or $23. This is sold out. In a lot of places too like Amazon and scrapbook.com wanted ridiculous shipping but this is just the eight and a half um, by 11 I believe and I want to mention something real quick let me go get it um, hold on just as an FYI <laughs> oh, sorry um, Fiskars or Fiskars or Fiskars I have had this this is my all-time favorite um, cutting thing right here. Um, I used it so much in Project Life. I just, I love it. But I noticed that it was kind of cutting wonky. And you know, I've had this for years. I don't even make this color anymore. So I don't know why, but I contacted Fiskars just to ask them, like, you know, is this loose? What What's going on? And the next thing I know, I get this brand new replacement. And I think they're like lifetime guarantees. So if you're ever having problems with like the Fiskars, all I had to do is send them a picture in an email. And and then I got this this free one. They said maybe it was just off, uh, um, not lined up, but they're supposed to be like lifetime guarantees, I think. So just a little hint that if you know any of your Fiskars product products aren't working email them because I got this cute little white one of course I haven't thrown this one away but um so that was just a little tip so I, I did get this I've seen a lot of artists use this and it, it does cut very well so and I thought that was a really good price um and then I don't know why I have this Tuesday morning right here but I don't know everybody everybody shows these but I love these, uh, this is that Nicoletta, yeah, Nicoletta Zanella. I have some of her clear stamps, 
but I just saw these two little ones and I'm sorry, but they were so cute. But girlfriend with her belly hanging out and her arm, like Mila would want to wear that outfit right there. Is that her belly? I think it is. I don't, yeah. So I wouldn't let my daughter go out with, like that. But anyways, okay. But my daughter has a nose. Okay, so and I got these two right here. Um, and then I cannot find any of these bow bunny stamps for the life of me. And this was the only one I was really like, man, I hope I find it. There's a few other ones, but you know, it's, I haven't gone in a long time, so they might be there, but I found this one. I don't, I think they were just sitting there. That's why I showed you, but that stamp I was going to get is so cute. And really though, it's a lot of X's, a lot of the circle borders. I'm like, okay. I could have honestly done that myself, but it's just easier with the stamp. So that is it. I just wanted to show you guys. Um, I will put the link down to, um, the girl on YouTube and the rusty crown and I'll, I'll put the rebookery as well. And my room is pretty much set up how I want it to. I went ahead and redid one of my Rascogs. I have three of them and I redid one for some journaling, junk journaling or vintage journaling cart with supplies. So if you'd like to see that, I could show you, but I really would like to do the the room tour of how this is gonna stay forever. So anyways, thanks so much you guys for watching and I'll talk to you later, bye.